Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is 23rd of February 2019 Current Affairs Part 1. Question number 1. Which of the following non-governmental organization, NGO, has received laureate spot for good award for the year 2019? Option A. Rajasthan Bal Kalyan Samiti. Option B. Purkal Youth Development Society. Option C. Smile Foundation. Option D. Yuva. The correct answer is Option D. Yuva. The NGO Yuva has been awarded the Laureus Spot for Good Award for the year 2019. NGO Yuva works specifically with girls from impoverished families in rural Jharkhand. The NGO uses team sports and education to build character, confidence and courage. Question number 2. Who among the following has been given the award for Sportswoman of the Year in Laureus World Sports Awards 2019? Option A. P. V. Sindhu. Option B. Alex Morgan. Option C. Simone Biles. Option D. Naomi Osaka. The correct answer is Option C. Simone Biles. The Laureus World Sports Awards 2019 were presented on the 18th of February 2019 to honor the greatest sporting achievements of 2018 and celebrate the power of sport to change the world. Sportswoman of the Year was given to Simone Biles, USA, Gymnastics. Question number 3. Who has been given the Sportsman of the Year in the Laureus World Sports Awards 2019? Option A. Virat Kohli. Option B. Lionel Messi. Option C. Novak Djokovic. Option D. Tiger Woods. The correct answer is Option C. Novak Djokovic. The Laureus World Sports Awards 2019 were presented on the 18th of February 2019 to honor the greatest sporting achievements of 2018 and celebrate the power of sport to change the world. Sportsman of the Year was given to Novak Djokovic, Serbia, Tennis. Question number 4. Dhanush Long Range Artillery Guns will be manufactured by which of the following Indian agency slash board slash group? Option A. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Option B. Ordnance Factory Board. Option C. Bharat Forge. Option D. Tata Group. The correct answer is Option B. Ordnance Factory Board. The Ordnance Factory Board, OFB has received a clearance from the Indian Army and the Defence Ministry for production of 114 first-ever indigenous artillery Gandhanush. Question number 5. Which of the following regional organisation has agreed to reduce emissions of carbon dioxide, CO2, from new trucks and buses by 30% by 2030? Option A. SAN. Option B. EU. Option C. African Union. Option D. Zag. The correct answer is Option B. EU. The European Union agreed on the 20th of February to reduce emissions of carbon dioxide, CO2, from new trucks and buses by 30% by 2030. Question number 6. The U.S. President Donald Trump on February 19 signed Space Policy Directive, 4. The directive is given to create a Option A. U.S. Space Force Option B. U.S. Rehabilitation on Mars Option C. NATO Space Cooperation Agency Option D. None of them The correct answer is Option A. U.S. Space Force. The U.S. President Donald Trump on February 19 signed Space Policy Directive, 4. 
he directed Pentagon to establish Space Force as the sixth branch of United States military. Presently, there are five branches, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and Coast Guard. Question number 7. 17th Mega Food Park of India was launched in which of the following state? Option A. Tamil Nadu. Option B. Andhra Pradesh. Option C. Manipur. Option D. Tripura. The correct answer is Option D. Tripura. Union Minister of State for Food Processing Industries Sadhvi Niranjan Jyoti inaugurated Sikaria Mega Food Park Private Limited at Village Tula Konai in Agartala. This is 17th Mega Food Park in India and first of Tripura. Question number 8. Who has recently inaugurated the Seven Wonders of the World? West to Wonder Park created by Junk by the Southern Municipal Corporation of India. Option A. Narendra Modi. Option B. Ramnath Kovind. Option C. Rajnath Singh. Option D. Arvind Kejriwal. The correct answer is. Option C. Rajnath Singh. The Seven Wonders of the World Made by the Junk by the South Delhi Municipal Corporation, West Boyne Wonder Park has been inaugurated by Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh recently. In this park, the new identity of Delhi will be due to the importance of the magnificence, grandeur, beauty and the ancient importance of these replicas. Question number 9 Prime Minister Narendra Modi recently unveiled projects worth 2,900 crore in which city? Option A. Delhi. Option B. Pune. Option C. Varanasi. Option D. Sikkim. The correct answer is. Option C. Varanasi. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has recently unveiled projects worth 2,900 crore in Varanasi during Varanasi visit. During the visit, he reviewed the first engine converted from electricity to diesel in locomotive works and also visited the exhibition. Question number 10. Who among the following has announced an interim dividend of 28,000 crore to the central government? Option A. World Bank. Option B. Supreme Court. Option C. High Court. Option D. Reserve Bank of India. The correct answer is. Option D. Reserve Bank of India. Reserve Bank of India has recently announced an interim dividend of 28,000 crore to the central government. While the Reserve Bank of India gave an interim dividend of 10,000 crore to the central government in March 2018. Question number 11. Who has approved a proposal under Section 56 of the Income Tax Act to encourage investment in startups? Option A. Piyush Goyal. Option B. Arun Jaitley. Option C. Narendra Modi. Option D. Suresh Prabhu. The correct answer is Option D. Suresh Prabhu Union Commerce and Industry and Civil Aviation Minister Suresh Prabhu has recently approved a proposal under Section 56 of the Income Tax Act to encourage investment in startups. Now that anybody will be considered as a startup from the date of incorporation and registration for the next 10 years. Question number 12. Which language's famous literateur and critic Namwar Singh has recently passed away? Option A. Urdu language. Option B. Arabic language. Option C. Hindi Hindi. Option D. Tamil language. The correct answer is. Option C. Hindi Hindi. Recently Hindi language literateur and critic Namwar Singh passed away at 93 years of age. Namwar Singh was ill for a long time. He contributed immensely in the establishment of Bharatiya Bhasha Kendra at Jawaharlal Nehru University.
Question number 13. What position has Apple company got in the list of the most innovative companies in the world recently released? Option A. 8th. Option B. 12th. Option C. 15th. Option D. 17th. The correct answer is Option D. 17th. Apple was ranked number 17 in the list of the most innovative companies in the world in 2019, recently released by the US Fast Company. Last year, Apple Company was ranked first. Geosma is the only Indian company to join this list, which is ranked 28th. Question number 14. Who has recently sanctioned the bill on ban of irregular deposit schemes, 2019? Option A. Central Cabinet. Option B. Rajya Sabha. Option C. Ministry of Railways. Option D. Policy Committee. The correct answer is. Option A. Central Cabinet. Union Cabinet has recently approved the ban on irregular deposit schemes, 2019, the purpose of which is to protect investors from Ponzi schemes. Question number 15. Chief Minister Kamal Nath has recently given the green signal to the modern machines which have been floated for the cleaning of the city under which scheme? Option A. Smart City Plan. Option B. Swachh Bharat Scheme. Option C. Prime Minister's Crop Insurance Scheme. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option A. Smart City Plan. Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh, Kamal Nath recently gave green signal to the modern machines for the cleaning of the city of smart city plans and also the release of Madhya Pradesh Nagar multi-level parking has been done. Question number 16. Mohammad Mushtaq Ahmad has recently been appointed Vice President of Underscore. Option A. Policy Commission. Option B. Central Government. Option C. Hockey India. Option D. BCCI. The correct answer is. Option C. Hockey India. Hockey India President Mohammad Mustafa Ahmad has been appointed the Vice President of Hockey Federation. Along with that Vice President Asima Ali has been appointed as a member of the Executive Board. Question number 17. India and which country have recently agreed to form a joint working group to counter terrorism? Option A. China. Option B. Australia. Option C. America. Option D. Morocco. The correct answer is. Option D. Morocco. Foreign Minister Sushma Swaraj and Foreign Minister of Morocco, Nasir Borita, have recently agreed to form a joint working group to counter terrorism, as well as after the delegation level talks, the two countries have agreed to for the MOAS have been signed. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.